Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you how you can create a Power BI bow tie chart which is a quite a nice representation when you have the connected data points and you want to understand the impact one data point is making to one level down data point and I'll show you in a minute how you can do this and just a quick information if you are new to this video then you can find this sheet link within the description where I have posted this and the several other videos that is related to the Power BI where you can search for any of the video uh, based on your interest and you can jump to that video directly using the link present here. Also a separate link is present for a Google Data Studio report where all of the videos related to my channel is present and that is also present in the link in the description. All right, now let's go ahead into the Power BI and see it in action. So here we are within the Power BI and here is a bow tie chart which I have created. And the way to read this chart is something like this, where you have, let's say on the right hand side, the main category, which is the product category. And you have the technology sales, you have the furniture sales. Sales I'm saying because sales is the value which I've taken it over here. So you have technology sales, you have furniture sales, and you have office supply sales. And down here, you have the subcategory. That means one level down information. Now, if I want to understand what are the technology sales and their respective product subcategory sales, then I can click on the technology over here. And in technology, you will see the only four different categories, which is present like office machines, telephone and communication, copiers and fax, computer peripherals. Similarly, if I again click it over here, I am back to my original visualization. Now, if I want to understand the office furnishing, I can just click on office furnishing and it will indicate the furniture over here that 690, 698K is here and similarly 698K is here. So that is the value which we can and uh, we can select on each of the side wherever we want either on the right side over here or on the left side over here and we have the visualization filter based on how we are making a selection so how we can create this type of a chart within the power bi well for this you need to use the custom visualization and for using the custom visualization you need to make sure that you are logged in and to log in you need to have the either the corporate email id that means your working email id where you need to create the login or if you have let's say any website account which is other than the normal email ids like the gmail yahoo hotmail if you have other than these email ids then probably it will going to work in your case okay so what i'll do is i'll back to the report and i'll just remove this i'll come over here and remove okay so i'll go into the visualization now and over here we have these three ellipses we'll click on the get more visuals and when we'll click on the get more visuals it will take going to take a couple of seconds to display this visualization so here we have the various different visualizations and under the editors pick we have this bow tie chart where we need to click on add also if it is not appearing for you you can search it over here uh, like the bow tie for example so if you search by this b o w t i e then it will sh it should show you this bow tie chart and once you will click on add you have the visualization added over here and since i have already added i have shown you the presentation just now so it's already added and it's like this so this is the icon a very small icon but you can get a hint as this indicates the bow tie chart so i'll just close this and i will going to click over here so once i click over here it will ask a couple of values like the source the value and the destination all right so let's try to add the source as product category which i have it over here and the value should be sales and uh, finally we have the destination which i want let's say the product subcategory one level down and i can just expand this all right 
So I have the same visualization created for me and you can see very easy it is to create it over here. In other tools like for example in Tableau and all, uh, you can create this but uh, there is a different settings like for example you need to know trigonometry over there uh, just just to create this chart and you know find these curves and things like those so here if you have the uh, if you have the login id your uh, corporate email id then you can very easily utilize this by adding it as a custom visual all right so we have this and you have some formatting option over here for example you have the bow tie title which is related to the bow tie titles right now it is showing you sales by product category and product subcategory which you can format based on what should be the text tooltip text what should be the font color background color and the text size similarly you want the data labels how you want the data labels should be auto units you can change it to thousands millions or billions so right now if you see for a couple of titles this these titles what you have is basically nothing like zero million because they are well below the million mark so what we can do is we can change it to thousands so once we change it to the thousands you will see both on the left hand side and on the right hand side you have the the thousands as the uh, symbol over here but here in the middle you have the 15 million so this you have the summary label setting so in the summary label settings if you change this auto units to let's say thousand then only it will going to change so it's up to us how we want to keep it i want to keep it million because this will be a very higher level and values will always be in million irrespective of what category you will going to choose it over here so it makes sense over here to use it also there is a way that uh, you have these million units over here uh, in both of these cases and you can have decimal places let's say two decimal place then in that case also you have the values appeared so in this case both of these units will always be in millions but on the right hand side and on the left hand side you will have the two decimal point value which will be slightly more accurate but generally what happens in the reporting that when the values are in millions you usually don't too much worry about one decimal point or two decimal point because you are talking mostly in terms of millions like uh, two million three million or maybe like 3.5 million so maybe just one decimal point up to the max so up to you what you want if you want to if you want one you know accordingly you will going to get it but here in our case two decimal points makes sense so i'll just make it two so that all my values are appearing over here so this is mainly uh two settings which is very specific to uh data labels that you should know because you may you will have to work with all of these settings just to make sure that your visualization is coming fine now we, i have chosen the product subcategory but i just want to make sure that you are aware that not just product subcategory you can choose any other category for example if you let's say want to understand for example we have the customer segment or we have the for example the customer name you know if, if you want to understand that so i can just remove this and i can even have the customer name so but as you would expect this will be quite a huge one and uh, since we have a very detailed information so will not going to make a whole lot of sense so i'll just come back with the product subcategory so up to us what we want and uh, what sort of visualization makes sense for us we will going to create it with the help of this bow tie chart and uh, we'll have something meaningful as an outcome so that's about it how you can create a bow tie chart and now i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic